Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I got another speculation video today. This is a mix between my predictions and also my wish list for the next series of Halo Heroes. And I want to start by thanking you all for the support on my previous wish list for the next Halo Universe blind bag series. That video is doing really well and clearly you guys want more. In that list we had a Heretic Gold, Elite, a Skirmisher, Promethean Soldier, so many cool figures. And if you're not up to date, Halo Universe is Mega Construct's brand new branding for all of the games and content that came before Halo Infinite. So it's going to cover all the different kinds of lore, all the material we have available, and there is so much already announced, including the Noble Team Winter Contingency set, the Arbiter's Quest. It's just a really great time to be a building block fan, and I want to just jump on that hype train and talk about Halo Heroes. Also, in Halo Universe, we have just got our Series 1 block blind bags. This spans all the different Halo games and you can check out my review on the channel right now. They are available at Target this second. And Halo Hero Series 15 is also on the way. This is a pretty badass series and yes, it's not Halo Infinite related. We've got an ODST, Agent Lock, Spartan Linda, the Lights of Sanghelios Elite and Decimus. A really exciting series. That should be coming out just about now. And Mega Constructs quite recently ran a poll online where you could vote for one of the figures in Halo Heroes Series 16. This was a huge competition, very, very popular, and the four figures were a Halo Flood Combat Form, Spartan CQB from Halo 3, we had the Haunted Helmet from Halo Reach, and Thrall Slayer, a Halo Wars 1 boss. And actually, it was a pretty close competition at times, but there was one clear winner, the Haunted Helmet. The Thrall Slayer, you know, justice for Thrall Slayer, man, I really wanted that monkey to win. But the vote was clear, it was the Haunted Helmet who came out as the victor. And since then, Mega has been busy building, designing this new figure. We know that the series will come early next year, so it's only a matter of time until we get the whole run-up. Mega have released this one picture detailing the Haunted Helmet so far. It's got a removable face piece and new chest. It's a very exciting mold. Very exciting just for Mega to share this behind the scenes. I really wish they did more of that. They could show us detailed sketches of every single Halo hero or every figure they have designed. But, you know, uh, let's hope they build off this in the future. We have the haunted helmet with a brand new chest and helmet. But now, we've got to think, well, what's gonna be in the rest of the series? And I've put together a list of five more figures. Some of them that I think are really likely to be in the series and some that I just hope are. I think it's a pretty great list and we've got some rules here. It's gotta be half UNSC, half enemies must include the haunted helmet, no more than four named figures, only two new molds, and cover a variety of games. Those rules are so we don't just go crazy. I don't want this to be a ridiculous list that's not realistic. You know, I'm not going to ask for the Horogok engineer in the next series. So I'd say I'm pretty confident with my choices. The first one is something that I think is almost guaranteed to be in the set, and that's ODST Marcus Hudson. He is the last named character, the last ODST from Fireteam Raven to be added to the squad. We've had the other three, and I I guarantee he's gonna join the roster. Fireteam Raven is an arcade machine and I've only played it once so far but it was so much fun and it follows four ODSTs during the events of Combat Evolve. They fight alongside the Master Chief at different times. It is a blast and if you can find this arcade machine I would highly recommend you playing it. You even get to fight against the Flood. So we've had three out of four of these ODSTs and it's time for Marcus Hudson to be the fourth. We've had ODST Graves and and Lang, and then we took a bit of a pause before we got Ramos because we were just having a Halo Infinite series, Halo Heroes, and now we're on to, you know, the final step. We've got to get the fourth of the squad. I need all four of them now. You know me, ODSTs are my bread and butter, and we've just got Ramos in series 15. That's on store shelves any day now, so it's time to get the fourth. My first prediction is that ODST Marcus Hudson will almost guaranteed be in this series. That's the only one that I just know will be there. And now let's talk about what I predict will also be an addition to this series. Let's hear it for Commander Agina, the Spartan recruitment officer and commander of the Avery Johnson Military Academy of Science. She is the main protagonist in the sort of training mode of Halo Infinite multiplayer. We've seen her character fleshed out her origin stories in the Battle of Earth 2552. So it's time that we get a mega 
Construct's representation. I think it might be a little too early for her to be added, but I also think that Mega might be right on top of that. Keep in mind, Mega don't get to see, you know, all the behind the scenes of Halo Infinite. When they're designing their toys and figures, a lot of what they get to see is what is shown to the public. So this character has been shown off for a long time. We've even got high definition renders of her helmet. It would be a really cool opportunity for Mega to get ahead of the game and publish her in the next Halo Hero series. And if I was making a request, I would love her to have one of these attachments. The MC5 tack pad is my favorite so far. These wrists all look really badass. And you know, I, I think while it is a bit of a long stretch, we might be able to see this commander very soon in Mega Constructs form. And keep in mind, once this series comes out, Halo Infinite will have premiered probably about three or four months ago. So we might just see the commander in Halo Heroes. Let's talk about something that's more likely. This figure has already come out this year, so I think it's quite certain we might get it. It's Ratas Venom. Let me just explain my logic here, right? The 20th anniversary pack came out this year, and that celebrated all of the games before. It had 20 figures inside the box, but it's been very hard to get your hands on. And I would say the most popular figure from that set, a brand new character in the Mega Constructs universe of figures. You know, they've invested the money into the mold, and it was in a very limited release set. I think they're going to re-release Ratas very, very soon, and I think it might be likely he comes in Halo Heroes, which I would be so on board for, especially the level of detail we always see in Halo Heroes figures. Like, I would love my favorite Shipmaster to be in this series. Road ships, staggered line, shipmaster, they outnumber us three to one. Then it is an even fight. All cruisers fire at will. Burn them mongrel hides. He could come with a really great energy sword, way more weathering and light detailing on his armor. I'm all for it. And keep in mind, some of the figures that have released with the 20th set have already been slated for release again. For example, Sese Refumi with the Arbiter's Quest set, and two members of Noble Team are being re-released with Winter Contingency. Like, these figures are definitely made to then be re-released. So, I'm calling that Ratas Vadim comes into Halo Hero series. 16. And he's my third prediction on this list. You may also notice, yes, I have predicted six figures. I need Mega Constructs to step back up to six figures. We're gonna go for an obvious silhouette here. I'm sure you figured out who this is. It's Atriox, and it just makes sense to me. It's been so many years since we got an Atriox figure in Mega Constructs, and he's the big baddie of Infinite. Maybe not in the campaign itself. I think it's very likely he just doesn't show up at all, if not just for some holograms. But hey, Hey, he's the big monkey boy, all right? And it's been so long since we got his mold. It's kind of crazy to me that he only got released in Halo Heroes and one blind bag series. So I'm saying it's absolutely time to bring back Atriox, especially just as Infinite launches. Like we need an affordable way to get the main antagonist of the game, right? We need that right now. And yes, he came holographic version in the blind bags and then in Halo Heroes form, it was a really great figure, but most people can't get it, and these things get scalped online. I imagine with the game coming out it'll get scalped even more, and keep in mind it's not out of the question. Decimus got released in a previous series, and now is getting re-released in series 15. So I think making a return in Halo Heroes next year is the big monkey boy Atriox, but there's a big catch, and there's something I want to address before I finish this point. Atriox was a great figure, but there was a big problem with this release, and that was his hammer. Why is this so small? This is a comically small hammer. Look, I enlarged it, uh, just very easy on Photoshop, and it's already way better. Like, Atriox deserves a massive hammer, not this jokingly small one. So, Atriox takes center stage with Halo Heroes Series 16, and that that just leaves one more figure. Maybe you can figure out what that outline is as well. And I know this is a common outcry from fans right now. It's an honor guard brute. And this just makes sense at this point, Mega. You've already got all the molds for this. It's just a piece of cake. The Honor Guard Brutes were such a pivotal moment in Halo 2. It's the main reason the Arbiter turned against the Covenant. It was the huge uprising. It was really their downfall. So let's get that Honor Guard 
brute in Mega Construct's form. The Elite Honor Guard has had a long history with Mega, being released many different times in old articulation and then eventually in new articulation, but just a single release until just now when we've got the lights of Sanghelios. And with removable helmets, it's easy to put that on the new Halo Universe Series 1 brute. They would have to change the helmet slightly, but if they made a new head mold for the Halo Universe Series 1 brute with just a hole in the top of the head, they could make the Honor Guard brute and it would just be the perfect addition to this arsenal. Folks, I hope you enjoyed my predictions for Halo Universe Halo Heroes Series 16. And if you haven't already, check out my Blind Bags prediction. It's a really fun video. I have a great time making these prediction videos and I hope you have an equally great time watching them. Let me know in the comments down below what your predictions are for Halo Heroes Series 16 and rate mine out of 10. And thank you so much for watching. Stick with the domain for all your Halo Universe news.